I think everybody has read about how to think and grow rich. Has anybody ever taught you how to think on your feet? I'm not talking about table topics, but I'm talking about your response to a life-threatening situation. A famous uh, psychologist, John Lynch, has invented a method called 10 versus 80 versus 10. After researching with various emergency situation and how the people are responding to it. According to John, he says 10% of people will respond to an emergency situation. You know, uh, in, uh, overcoming their fear, they respond to it and they act rationally. 80% uh, people respond to it, they are unprepared and they will not respond to uh, the situation. And 10% people will get panic and they cannot cope with the situation. Master of Ceremony, Mr. President and my dear friends, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Whenever I used to, I mean, my younger days, whenever I used to party hard and come home, my angry wife confronted me. I used to be very quick to turn the table and saying that I went to see my friend in hospital. Guess what happened? My wife used to console me instead of getting mad at me. <laughs> at work, things were not different. Whenever my boss catches me with a big blunder, I used to blame a blame an employee who left the company six months ago, and then I used to survive. You may agree or you may not agree with me, but this moment of the situations uh, where I thought on my feet but really helped me was lifesavers. But at certain situation, I really thought on my feet and I survived. It was 2004, New Year's Eve. I was just promoted from FNB coordinator to FNB assistant FNB manager. After after our parties were just started, and I think everybody knows what is after our parties, right? The people, the intoxicated people from all the club, they join in one place and they will enjoy till six o'clock in the morning. They go crazier. Everything went as planned. Uh, DJ was playing amazing music. Uh, people were really enjoying, and drinks were flowing like water. The dance floor on fire. Uh, every person who entered inside the party paid 25 dinars. Every person in the house were having a great fun. But until something had happened, the power went off. After five minutes, the power still not on. All the chaos started. People started throwing the bottles. People started abusing. People started fighting there. And, and one person was a target on that night, and that was me. Where is that? Guy, that bloody guy, bring him, we'll beat the hell out of him. 350 people, my friend. And 10 bouncer, can you be able to control that intoxicated, crazy, and annoyed people with 10 bouncers? No way. I don't know what happened. I knew that my time is up and I'm going to get beaten up with those people. There was a buffet counter. I just jumped into behind the buffet counter. I removed my jacket, I removed my tie, removed my shoes, I tore the shirt and applied the ketchup over me and sprinkled the coke and I took the tray which was just nearby and I started uh, involved with the crowd and started clearing the table as if I'm a janitor, I'm a waiter. A few minutes I got surrounded by a ten arrogant, angry, our neighbors who are across the bridge. One guy really took me and hold my arms and just pulled me and he said in Arabic, at that time I was new and I was not able to speak Arabic. When Mudir, I was so scared I could not be able to speak. I said, I was I used to speak a bit Arabic. I said, I showed the finger to the door that said Mudir Tala because actually I am the Mudir. They wanted to find out who is the Mudir. I said, show, show the finger to the uh, door. After a few seconds, the guy was so upset. I said, but I thought that I have to do something to survive. And I said, I started abusing the manager. Basically, I was abusing myself. I said, the mudir is a yarn of her. <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, means giving little but money, but making me work hard, like 15 hours. I was, and I started crying. So a bit time, 
The guy, I don't know what happened to him. They started hugging me, kissing me. <laughs> they started consoling me. And I knew that within a time that I, they're going to catch me. I know they're going to find out. I just stepped myself on the ground and I literally crawled and I skipped. Within I went outside, five minutes I got a call that everything went well. The power came restored again and things went very well. Dear friends, whenever you are facing the emergency situation or life-threatening situation, you always have to keep yourself calm and try to spend few moments to assessing the situation and surroundings and try to make use of every tools you are getting around you and try to escape. Dear friends, you never know when is your turn to so think, think on your feet and think hard. Back to you.